Good evening. We want to talk to you tonight about praying for one another. So we're going to give you a scripture. It's James 5.13. This is how it reads. It says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. You know, a lot of times you might, you know, have know somebody that's sick. And God gives us the power, that's what the power of the Holy Ghost is for, to pray for one another. Just, you know, elders, of course, and all the ministers but the ones that have God's anointing, the power of the Holy Ghost in their life, can lay hands on the sick by saying they will recover. I know my godmother was sick the last week, but we on the prayer line, like I always say, I guess you get tired. She go that prayer line. Oh, this prayer line is working. God is working on the prayer line. We pray for her and she's not in the hospital, thank God. God deliver her out of the hospital. So the prayers of the righteous availeth much. A lot of times, you know, we want to just pray for ourselves, but we got to learn to pray for one another. That's how we're going to make it together. And I want to read another scripture to you. Matthew eleven twenty five 25 says, And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have an ought mm -hmm, against any that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Okay, that's saying if you have an order against whoever it is, you don't have to blame people in church, it could be anybody, family members, cousin, whatever. And if you have an order against, I said that on one of my videos, you know, straighten it out. Just go to them in spirit of love and, you know, get straight. And then when you get ready to pray, God will answer your prayer. But if you haven't forgive, forgiven them, then your prayer will be hindered. So we don't want our prayers to be hindered. So we want to pray for one another that the Lord will continue to give us a mind to do the things that are pleasing in the sight. And Matthew 5, 44 says, But I say unto you, love your enemies. Hmm, that's a hard one sometimes, right? You got somebody just worrying you to, just worrying you to no end, just, uh, just get on my last nerves, you know. I can't deal with that person, but it says, love your enemies, bless them who curse you, do good to them who hate you, pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Now, I know you have a lot of people that, you know, that you come in contact with sometimes that just don't like you, especially if you're a child of God, they're not going to like you. The Bible said, arm yourself likewise, they hated God, so we, we're not exempt from being hated. Somebody can just come, just, just come past you and just look at you on your job and just all of a sudden they just hate you. You know why? It's because you have the Holy Ghost power that's radiating throughout you. And the Bible said the devil likes darkness rather than light because his deeds are evil. So when you get around light, you are the light of the world. A city that is set upon the hill cannot be hid. It just irritates them no end. No, they should be doing what you're doing, living the life. And when they get around, you get irritable real quick. Because I've had that to happen. But, you know, I pray for people like that. It doesn't bother me. Because, you know, you must be doing something right, okay? Because the world loves its own. Everybody's not going to love you. You have to realize that. When you're a child of God, everybody's not going to love you. They're going to hate you. Because they hated God worse than what they hate us, okay? If you look back in the scripture, you see how much they hated him. But when he had to die on the cross, how they whipped him. They pierced him in the side. We, we, we're not going through none of that. So just pray for those that despitefully use you, that don't even like you, to praise for them, bless them, and go on in Jesus' name and watch God work for you and bless you by doing what he's told you to do, okay? So just love one another. Pray for those that don't even know the Lord. You know, there's some people, they really don't know the Lord. Sometimes they got things going on in life that make them mean. And sometimes they don't mean to be that way, but they don't know how to you know, cope with what they're going through. And we have the Holy Ghost power. We know what to do. What? Man should always pray and not faint. Right? So that's what we do. I mean, Jeremiah, we was talking about tonight, Jeremiah, the first chapter, about Jeremiah, how he prayed and fasted before the Lord. 
you know, and God worked for him. He prayed for the sins of the people. God worked for him. He built, he rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem. So we got to pray for one another when one is sick. Lift them up in prayer. You know, a lot of times people say, well, that's not my family member. It doesn't matter. They're your sister in Christ. Guess what? We are one. We are family. You know, there's the song that I love you, you love me. We all are part of God's family. Stand with me. Agree with me. Okay. That's the song. So remember that song. But remember to always pray. And God will bless you. Just pray and ask God for what you want in life. What, what you want. At first of all, ask Lord, what do you want me to do? What would you have me to do, Lord? What is my assignment that you would have me to do? And do it. You can do it. That's what well, I can't do. That seems real big. No, you can do all things through Christ to strengthen you. When God gives you assignment, like I said before, he's not going to leave you out there by yourself. He's going to strengthen you. You have the Holy Ghost power. And he's going to make sure it comes to pass. All right? So remember, the main thing I'm trying to talk to get across is let's pray for one another. Not just the ones we get along with. Mm -hmm. Pray for the ones we don't get along with. The ones that just kind of, like, oh, oh, just kind of irritating. They need prayer as well. And sometimes we need to pray first of all, okay? So we can be what God would have us to be because we never know, you know. Our time may come when we are down and mm, not feeling that's good. But, you know, sometimes you have to pray for yourself sometimes. Really. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to sit down and think about what is going on. Mm. Lord, help me. Help me. All right? So we need to ask the Lord each and every day to help us to be more like him in every way. And God will do just that. All right? So I got to go. But I will talk to you probably tomorrow sometime. God bless you. Have a good night. And a wonderful day tomorrow. Let his blood continue to cover you.